Dude, I can't get that one Neil song out of my head. What song are you talking about? You know, the one that goes, Said I'm so sick of love songs. So sad and slow. Dude, please stop singing. My bad. My bad. I, I just wanted to let you know which song I was talking about. Yeah, that song is all right. It's a, it's a good example of alliteration, I suppose. Good use of what? Alliteration? The repetition of a consonant sound in successive or closely associated syllables? Dude, are you like a walking dictionary? Dude, let me finish. So when Neil repeats the sound, s, said in I'm so sick of love songs, so sad and slow, the repetition of s is alliteration. You hear it all the time in music. The repetition helps create a rhythm and flow. Hmm. So if I start speaking strategically using the s sound, that is alliteration? Yes, but it can be any sound. For example, in Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven, Poe says, Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. Weak and weary is an example of alliteration, and so is quaint and curious. Although quaint begins with a Q and curious a C, both letters make similar sounds. Thus, it is considered alliteration. In the last line, nodded, nearly, and napping are also examples of alliteration. Okay, okay, I'm starting to get it. It's simple yet surprisingly satisfying to speak in such a way. Dude, don't tell me you're going to use alliteration all the time now. Maybe I will. It makes my words more musical and memorable. Dude, you're so annoying. Now it is your turn to practice using alliteration. Describe your favorite sport, food, or person using alliteration. However, do not tell us what it is you're describing. The class will guess what it is you're writing about. Good luck.